Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. Now before we get into the meat and bones of things, I do want to remind everyone just to be respectful. We shouldn't celebrate people's downfall regardless of if we like them or not. But on that note, actions do have consequences. And that was shown earlier today when the most popular Western Maple Story streamer Dookie got banned from the game live. So yeah, today's gonna be another one of those drama videos. We've had plenty of drama to cover recently and today we're just keeping the trend going. I just hope it's not for too long. Now Dookie is the top Western Maple Story streamer. He's literally the most watched, most viewed creator out there. So plenty of people were watching him live on stream when he got banned from the game. During the moment he got banned, it seemed like nothing special was going on. He was just AFKing in town. So of course there was a big outcry from his viewers as it looked like the ban was done by mistake. Now usually when Maplers get banned, Nexon remains silent on their reasoning and doesn't share any proof. But to everyone's surprise, in this case, they actually did. Not sure if uh, Zero by Divide got his own bulletin as well, but anyway, the team actually took to the website to post why Dookie got banned and explained more in depth the reasons for his downfall. They write, our teams thoroughly investigate all reports, but these investigations do not necessarily result in bans, as we will not take action for a report made purely in bad faith, including for cases of mass reporting. Basically, you can't just report someone and they will get banned, that's not how it works. This particular ban was applied upon the conclusion of an investigation that was started in response to player reports, and its timing or impact relative to the player's in-game achievements was purely coincidental. Basically, Dookie just finished liberating his item, which is basically he completed the game, and then he, as soon as he finished that, he got banned, which was uh, kind of a bad timing on that part. In this case, our investigation revealed a separate account that was engaged in heavy, unambiguous hacking activity, which was being shared through multiple players. We manually reviewed our internal logs of the account, which revealed that its primary player was Dookie. As part of sanctions taken against the player on this account, Dookie's main account was also banned. So basically, he did not hack on his own account, but instead a different account was using hacks and he was the one using that and profited from that. So basically, because of that, his main account got also banned. Later though, it was revealed that the character in question was called Nico Nico that was being used by Dookie to boost the spawn rate, which was the cause of his main account receiving the ban. According to the MapleStory GMs, that character, through illegal means, had a permanent totem skill. Most likely through a skill injection, so even if there was no totem equipped, you know, those things that could boost the spawn rate, the skill could always be used, permanently boosting the spawn rate of any player that had access to that character. Skill injections are used to give characters other skills than their class has. For example, this hacker was using it as well that was caught by Sacrix in another video. As you can see, he's using all different kinds of skills that are definitely not related to the class this character is. According to Nexon, Dookie was connected to this account to boost himself through his hack skill and in some of his older videos we can even see the character in question using totems in the map he is training in. I remember MapleStory Europe doing something similar to ban gold sellers. Even if you don't hack on, the, on your main account, if you are taking advantage of hacks on different accounts from the same PC or connection, there is a chance that your main account gets banned as well. Which is fair in my opinion. Like you could get banned in the past for chaosing those old school vac hackers because you're still making use of a hack even if you're not using the hack yourself. Like with every case though, there are grey areas when it comes to if someone knew the account was abusing hacked skills and if they were actively using them. But for next at least there was enough evidence to ban Dookie and that's the fact that's why he got banned. And again, to clarify, I don't dislike Dookie or anyone really. I wanted to make this video for people that were curious about what happened. I do think that Dookie offered something unique to the MapleStory Twitch streaming community. And he has his success to show for it. He definitely put in the hours as well. But uh, what do you think about the whole situation? Let me know in the comments. And that was all for today. That's enough drama for me, man. As always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Os, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Naisu, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord underscore MS, Striker Elk, Ty one pun, Radical Jaws, Riser Are You, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simerson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Narc, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brennan Cam, Vake Botnet, Feco, Victor Sundstrom, Simak Only, Rashid Alharudi, Galando Balavia, Gianfranco, Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matthew Death, Gummy Bullet, 
Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogo, Gabriel Eck, Louis Bento Brandao, and Dante Victory. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.